Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be the back to school essentials that you need for college and university. So I am now currently going into my second year of university at the University of Guelph and I think I could say I have a good idea of what you really need and what I just think is unnecessary to pick up for back to school. Last year I definitely did pick up some stuff that maybe people initially say you need but then you kind of find you don't really need them or things that no one had mentioned to me that I needed that I needed to pick up to be like successful in my courses. So that's what this video is going to be about, me just telling you the essentials you need for back to school for college and university and how to survive your classes. And just a disclaimer, this is basically like generic stuff every student should need but also it may be it may vary a bit depending on what kind of program you're in I was in the Bachelor of Science last year so for the science courses you would also have to buy stuff for your labs which is usually like your lab coat goggles and maybe some additional stuff like that you usually need like some kind of lab um, textbook kind of thing so that might be necessary. This is basically all the stuff you need for a generic, going to your lectures and taking notes and stuff like that. If you're interested, then just keep on watching. Okay, well first I guess I'll start off with my backpack. I feel like that's a pretty basic thing. Everyone needs a backpack. And these backpacks have been trending this year. When I look at back to school videos on YouTube right now, these backpacks are all in the thumbnail. So I got this from Blackwell and it's a little bit pricey, but it's actually a very good quality bag. Like, you know when like you have a bag for a semester and it already starts ripping and like falling apart? I feel like this isn't going to do that. The texture is like very like thick and durable. Like it almost seems like like the material is almost like cut proof, like it wouldn't like rip or anything or tear, but I don't know, so this is what it looks like. This is like a really nice teal color, I just thought it would be good for back to school. What I really like is the handles, because you can hold the bag like this, or you can also wear it as a backpack, so I thought that was pretty neat, and there's also quite a bit of storage space, and that is very key to succeeding. Just having a big enough backpack to fit all your stuff, and obviously you don't want to have to carry on this huge bulky backpack. It gets very annoying when you're in very small lecture halls and there's not a lot of room to put a big bag. Well, I feel like this is a pretty good size. You could tuck it probably between your, like, by your feet or you could probably have it up on the desk. But it's, it's a good relative size for a backpack. It has a nice big pocket in the front here. And then you have your main pocket in here which is pretty big, quite a bit of space and also a separate compartment inside the big overall pocket. So there's quite a bit of space. Um, so I like to keep all of my school stuff in the big pocket and then in the smaller pocket at the front, right here, I like to keep stuff like girls feminine supplies or I keep sometimes um, like hand cream if my hands are really dry or like a body mist, a deodorant. Uh, a lip chap, just like little necessities in there, but pretty much then the rest of the bag will be all the school supplies. So yeah, that's my backpack. So I actually made a list of all the back to school supplies I needed for back to school when I was heading to Walmart to get them. So I just threw them all in this big grocery bag. So I'm literally just gonna pull out the objects as they're placed in the bag and show you what I got. And I also, I also have the receipt here of everything I got so I can show you how much everything was. When I went shopping, I actually already filmed me picking up all the products so you could see how much they were and stuff. So, I mean, it's probably not even necessary for me to read this off because you're already going to see the clip of me picking it up at Walmart. So, um, yeah, but in total, I spent $121 getting all these back to school supplies. So, back to school supplies can be a little bit expensive, and this is without the backpack. And I also already had some supplies at home that I didn't need to pick up. So basically, back to school shopping is expensive and um, yeah, please send help. <laughs> so is school. I'm literally broke after paying this fall's tuition. <laughs> I really need help. So the first thing that's on top of my bag here is my Tim Hortons Original Blend Coffee K-Cups for my Keurig. And this is probably one of the only things in this video that isn't a legit school supply that I think is a necessity. I personally... I could not go a semester without drinking coffee. This is what gets me out of bed in the mornings, knowing I get to have a good cup of coffee. So I would recommend, like, I mean, if you have a Keurig machine or something, picking up some K-cups. I tend to find that these go on sale during back to school season, which is perfect. 
Um, also, I would highly recommend Costco, going to Costco. I'm gonna be picking up my dark roast um, Starbucks blend coffee, which is my absolute favorite. This is like a good second favorite for me but pick up some coffee so you can get through your classes. A tip for you is I would definitely find something to help wake you up in the mornings before class because that's how you're going to retain the information the best. I found that like mornings where I just rolled out of bed and I was too late to make a coffee, it, I wasn't really focusing. It was very hard to focus in class and actually like engage and take the notes. So I would really recommend finding some way to wake you up if that's waking up 30 minutes early and doing like a small workout or if it's taking like an energy drink like a Red Bull or Monster, wouldn't recommend those, but that is an option. Or just having a good coffee, I would recommend just to wake you up and it really helps you engage more in your lectures, so I would definitely recommend that, especially like the 8 a.m. lectures, like, man, I was dying. Okay, so my next supplies here are some pencils. I personally, it all depends on the person and also the class. I don't really like to write in pencil that much, but um, obviously I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna not get pencils for back to school. Like, pencils are ideal for math classes and they feel really cool. I actually, I already had to open this up and use one of the pencils for writing my exam I just had. I had a summer marketing exam, that was fun. Wish me luck, hopefully I did good. I didn't get the results back yet. It worked really well and the grip on the pencils is really nice. It gets very comfortable and it also comes with a little eraser which is good. So yeah, I would definitely recommend picking up some pencils and an eraser. So next I have some paper clips here. Um, this is actually something I had already picked up um, before I went to Walmart and did this haul. This is actually from Staples. I couldn't tell you how much I paid, but they're a little bit overpriced. So I'm gonna guess probably around like $4 for these or five bucks or something. But they're just some metallic colored paper clips. You can really get any paper clips. You don't have to be extra like me. And um, I would just recommend picking up some because it's really a, it's a good idea to keep forms together and like if you have a binder that you're going to be putting like two different courses worth of notes and papers in, I would definitely recommend like maybe even getting dividers, but also just paper clips, like something to separate your stuff and kind of keep it grouped together. Or like if you're submitting something like a hard copy to a prof, maybe use like a paper clip or staple it, just keep it all together. Like, I don't know, I feel like paper clips are just like a necessity. It's something you probably like don't even think about, but you'll need it. So next we have more paper clips. <laughs> I think these are ones I already previously owned too. They literally look the exact same. They're also the metallic style. Paper clips are just a bit bigger. Um, this one doesn't even have a label on it. More paper clips. So this next product is something I actually didn't get in my first year of university, but I would definitely recommend it like for future years. And this is a pencil case that just clips into your binder. So I was finding, actually have it right here. This is the pencil case I used last year, which is just um, an old makeup bag I had. And I, I really like the idea of just using like makeup bags for my pencil cases. Like they're a decent size and they're cute. But the only thing is it got a little bit like annoying to have to carry around this too. And like, it's pretty full. Like there's quite a bit of stuff in here. So I thought this year I would try getting one of these where it has the three ring hole spot so you can actually put this in your binders so you can just like clip it in your binder and just have to focus on bringing your binder to the classes and not have to worry about bringing like a big bulky pencil case too. This is like definitely smaller and not a, as much space but I think this is good like I mean I just I can fit my scientific calculator some pencils and pens and eraser stuff like that so like I think this will be good for me. But um, yeah, I'd maybe recommend this over like a big bulky pencil case, just better for bringing it around between classes. And I also picked up another one because I wasn't really sure which one I wanted to go with because the whole rings were different. So this one has like the little metal hole slots right here. This one has these little um, elastic pieces, I guess, that you kind of hook them in. But this pencil case is a bit bigger than the other one. There's more storage to this one. As you can see, like quite a bit more storage. So I kind of just bought both of them and I'm gonna see which one like fits in my binders better, I guess, and works better. But yeah, I would just get one that fits in your binder so you don't have to bring that extra additional pencil case with you. So next I have pens. You just can't go to university without pens. Like I'm someone who I love I love writing a pen. I just find my like my writing looks neater. I only get black. I personally I have never used blue, red, or like whatever other color pen colors they have. I only only ever use black. So these are the pens right here. And they are the Bic Atlantis ball pen. It comes with four in this package. 
Um, I would maybe recommend getting more than four because I always seem to misplace them and lose them and they're always running out of ink. So I would actually recommend getting more than four. So the next thing I have in here are highlighters. Oh my gosh, you could not go through university or college without highlighters. This is a necessity and this isn't just good for exam prep and highlighting the specific things that you should be studying and looking over. This is really good. This is just a great studying tool. I find that like if you're someone who is a bit of has a bit of a picture memory, if you are highlighting certain subjects in certain colors, I think it can help you actually remember the information a little bit better, or at least that's what I found. It also makes your notes look a little bit more interesting, so when you're studying it's not so boring. Um, but yeah, also I like to use these in my daily planner, which I will show later on in the video, but also just highlighting um, things that are really important that need to be submitted by certain days and stuff. So yeah, I got this pack of 12 highlighters and it comes with three yellow, two green, two blue, two orange, two pink, and one purple. And these are my favorite, the Sharpie highlighters. They literally never dry out. They work amazing. And um, I think they were actually relatively cheap for like getting 12 of them, but I would not recommend bringing all of these to your lecture. That's not very necessary. So next I got some scotch tape and it comes in this pack of three. It's good to have tape. I'm gonna be living in residence this year where I wasn't last year. So I picked up some school supplies that I didn't really think about getting because I just always have tape in my house. So I thought, you know what, tape's probably a good idea. Like you never know. I can't really think of a scenario where I would like need tape, like it would be so important. But like, I don't know, I just picked up some tape. They're relatively cheap and why not? So next I got a mini hole punch and I think this is a necessity because I can't even count how many times the profs would hand out lecture notes that didn't have holes in them and I always have my whole, my three ring binder or sometimes the holes in the paper wouldn't line up with the ring slots in my binder if that makes any sense. So it's just always good to have your own. There's no need to have like a big uh, three hole puncher to carry around with you like that is definitely not necessary so I just like this mini hole puncher right here you can just throw it in your pencil case and when you get the lecture notes if your prof does provide those then you could just quickly put some hole punches in them it just makes it easier because I found that last year when my profs didn't put holes already in the paper I would just shove it in my bag and then it would get really crumpled and like messed up just because I would want to hole punch it when I got home so yeah, I would recommend like bringing one to the classes with you. It just makes it a lot easier, I think, and it's something I didn't think about last year, but I would highly recommend for future years of college or university. So my next thing here, similar to the last one, is a mini stapler, and I think this is extremely important. I can think of a lot of times where I need to staple things together, either like assignments or just stapling notes together. Like this is just a necessity. I can think of so many times where I'm like, oh my gosh, I need a stapler. It also comes with some extra staples on the side here, which is good. The next things I have here are just two standard erasers. I like to get this brand eraser, just the simple white ones. I find that sometimes if you um, if you get the ones that are like pink or have some kind of color, it can sometimes rub off on your paper. And it's always good to have like a bigger size eraser versus like having just the small ones on the back of pencils. You never know, like if your whole sheet is a mess and like you messed up the whole equation, you gotta pull out one of these big erasers and completely start over. <laughs> So yeah, I would definitely recommend picking up like some bigger size ones just to pack in your pencil case too. Next we have whiteout and oh my gosh, this was something I used so much last year. And I mean, it really depends on the person too. I'm someone who like I take a lot of pride in making my notes for my lectures very neat. They work really good, they dry pretty quick. I, I don't know, I think this is a necessity. If you're not someone who writes in pen, that's not really gonna be an issue for you, I guess, but um, just something I would maybe consider. So this next thing here, also super helpful for sticking important pages in your textbook. I don't have my textbooks yet for my courses that I'm taking, but you're going to need to put aside a chunk of money to get your textbooks. Let me tell you. <laughs> They are expensive. If you were enrolled in some math classes, good luck. They are usually around like $200 for a math textbook. I have no idea why they're that expensive. Beats me. I was in a lot of science classes last year, so I found that they are relatively around the same price. They were usually around like the 100, 120 kind of range. That's if you buy them new though. Um, I would definitely recommend looking for used ones if you can find some. Yeah, it'll save you a lot of money. They're so expensive. If you're someone who is planning on reselling your books to somebody else as used the following year, I would recommend getting these. And this is gonna like basically help keep your 
textbooks in better condition. Like I find that these will help with instead of like highlighting or dog heat earing the pages, you can put one of these down on certain sections you need to look over and reread and study. Um, I just find them really good for labeling if you wanna have one at each chapter, like if you stick one in at chapter one, chapter two, it just makes it like easier to go with the chapters. So in your textbook, especially if they're like 500 page textbooks, like I would just recommend these. They're just really good for note taking and um, marking pages you need to study in your textbook. All right, so next I have my notebooks. So this is actually what I write all of my notes in for my lectures. So I bought two peach colored ones and two blue ones as you can see. I'm enrolled in four courses in the fall, so that's why I have one for going on down there? I'm enrolled in four courses in the fall, so that's why I have four binders. I would recommend getting your own binder for each course, unless you have a course where there really isn't going to be a lot of note taking. Like, um, I can't even think. Of, <laughs> I can't even think of a course where there's not going to be a lot of note taking, to be honest. And they're just. I get the simple lined paper, nothing too special. Also, oh, if you're in some math classes, you might want to pick up some graph paper. I already do have some, so I didn't pick any up. But yeah, so these are just my line notebooks. I like to write my notes in. I'm such an idiot. I literally just realized they don't even have the three whole things for my binder. Oh my gosh. Okay, so don't do what I did. And I always keep my notebooks inside my binders and this doesn't have the holes, like the punched holes to do that. Um, so I messed up. So I'm probably gonna have to pick up four more, so. Yay me. Okay, so next I have some printer paper and this is kind of random because I haven't talked about the other um, supplies you need. You're going to need a printer, definitely 100%. I can't even count how many times I use my printer and going along with that, you're going to also have to pick up some ink cartridges and those are necessities and you can buy some relatively cheap printers i would definitely recommend getting one of the students smaller size one if you're going to be living in a dorm unfortunately i bought my printer before i was living in a dorm so it is pretty big i'll leave the one i have on the screen right here because i don't have it with me um, but i would recommend getting like a student size one just it's just easier for your dorm but you're going to need it what i like to do in my lectures is i will hand write all my notes out and then like highlight them do whatever just so it like i feel like it engages you more in the lectures I would recommend not being one of those people that types it all your notes on your laptop. I just found like it's not very engaging. Like for me, when I'm typing out my notes, like I did try that first year and it just like didn't really work for me because then there's just like too many distractions. Like when you have electronics, there's all this access to social media and the internet. Like for me, if I'm just like focusing on the lecture and I have my notebook out and I'm writing my stuff, it's a lot more engaging. And I feel like when you write stuff out, it sticks in your head a little bit more. So. I like to actually go to the lectures, handwrite all the notes and everything and highlight. And then when I'm studying, that's when I will type out the notes because I like to study off things that are a bit more neat. I tend to write a little bit messy when I'm in lecture and feeling a bit rushed. So I like to type out the notes after just for studying purposes. They're relatively cheap. It's really just the ink that's kind of expensive, but it's a necessity. I would highly recommend getting that. I also have my... Hillroy 400 ruled sheets paper here. So you know what? Maybe I'll just put this in my binders instead of those notebooks <laughs> Because uh, this is just some extra paper for note-taking like I like to have just a little bit of this in each binder along with the notebook um, I just like this is more for like rough work This is more ideal for having like math classes where you're just quickly sketching some stuff down But when I'm actually taking the notes for the lectures, I like to write them in like an actual notebook but I would just recommend picking some up. It's relatively cheap and it's something I think you're definitely going to need, just some extra paper. You can't go wrong with it. But my next thing here is something I didn't get last year, but I would recommend getting in future and it's sheet protector. It fits three ring binders, which is exactly what we want. And I think it's good to have a couple of these in each binder, just at the front, just for important forms. If there's for any reason you need to have something signed to bring back, or if you have an assignment due when you're handing it in like a hard copy, I would recommend having a couple of these in each of your binders at the front just to keep important forms that like you don't want to shove in your backpack and it get wrinkly like I said happened to me so much last year. So next I would recommend getting some all-purpose labels. I have this one here which is a 72 pack of them and I'll show you what they look like. So this is what they look like here. As you can see they're kind of like about one inch 
like wide and this is the perfect um, width for putting them on your binders like right on the spine of your binder if you have a whole bunch it's really it's a good idea to label them it just makes it a lot easier when you're going to class if you're in a rush and you can quickly pick the right one and if you're someone like me I like to get like four basic black binders and it's very hard to differentiate is that the right word it's very hard to like differentiate them all is that am I using that correctly it's very hard to tell them apart they all look the same so I would recommend putting this on the spine of your binders just to like label them separately so you can have like math biology chemistry just keep it a little bit easier and more organized the most important thing you're going to be taking away from this video is buying a planner I would Highly recommend, I'm not even recommending, I'm telling you, you need to get a planner. This is how I survived my first year of university, is my planner. This is where you write down all the assignments and everything that's due. So I get the ones where it has an overview of the full month, like little, like almost like a calendar style, and then the next page. And then this next page here, this is where like it's more broken down each day to day, and you can write down all your tasks. So I write down my shifts I have to work at work. Also, if things are due, like if payments for my tuition are due or assignments are due, it's just like very important to have one. This is honestly how I think I did. Like this has helped me so much my first year and I would recommend buying a planner every single year. It's a necessity. Like if you don't have somewhere to put down like all of the deadlines and everything, you're gonna, you're gonna be lost. You're gonna be handing in things late and that's like a big issue in college and university, especially when some profs do not accept things when they're late and then it'll be like a zero like they don't even take late marks off it's like zero if it's not in on time so it is very important to meet deadlines so go get a planner it is literally a necessity and i would recommend getting a smaller one so you can kind of tuck it in your backpack and like i know they have the bigger ones which are usually like a lot more detailed which i personally really like but what I really like about this one is I can just slip it in my purse and my backpack and it's super easy so I can whip it out during my lectures and write down any deadlines that they mentioned during the lecture. So yeah, get your planner. So another thing you're going to need is a scientific calculator. This is the most basic one I think you can really get. Um, it does all the functions usually you need, I think, in like most math classes. This got me all through high school and I'm still using any university and it's good. But yeah, if you take any math classes, you're going to need a scientific calculator or like business and like things like that, like accounting. You would also need a calculator sometimes in like some science classes, so like you just never know. I would just recommend like getting a calculator. Like they can be a little bit pricey, but if you just get like a very basic scientific calculator, it shouldn't be that expensive. Oh yeah, also I have a little metal sharp sharpener here. These are the best sharpeners I personally find that do the best job. I don't really like the cheap plastic ones. I feel like they're always like breaking. I barely ever use my sharpener because I don't really use pencils, but if you are someone who likes to write in pencil, I would definitely make sure you have a good like metal sharpener. There's a couple things here that I don't have with me, but you will need. And obviously like the binders, I think I have them downstairs right now. I'm not really sure why they're not up here, but I like to get the one inch ones. Also a really good thing that might come in handy is a voice recorder. I had used my phone to like record lectures a couple times and this is like <laughs> this is gonna sound so bad there was a gymshark launch and i think the whole site was like 70 percent off during one of my philosophy lectures so i literally turned on my phone and was recording the lectures so i could quickly like when the store opened i could quickly hop on my computer and purchase the stuff <laughs> But I didn't want to miss out on the lecture stuff, so I still recorded the lecture, so I just did the notes after my lecture. It was very important. Gymshark athletic wear sells out so quick, so I needed to go hop online and cop this really quick. But a voice recorder is also good if your prof talks very fast and if you're someone who writes notes a bit slower or if you're someone who wants to engage and listen to the lectures, then I would recommend using a voice recorder and then maybe even writing the notes after the lecture if that's what you want to do. It would just take more time, but if that's the way you like to learn, you could do that. And if you don't want to get a voice recorder, you can just use your phone and use the voice memo app. So that's also a good idea too. I would actually highly recommend that. The last thing on my list here is Advil or Tylenol because nothing is worse than being in a lecture and having the worst migraine of all time. And I would just definitely recommend like throwing some in your backpack, a little like Advil, Tylenol, some Midol, you never know, just some pain relief stuff. Like it's the worst, like having the worst headache or something and being stuck in a lecture. So yeah, it's just something I would recommend. Okay, so that's pretty much it for my video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to give it a big 
thumbs up and also subscribe. And don't forget to turn on my post notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And if you're interested in some more school, university, college videos, then I would definitely subscribe because I do have some more videos coming up. I'm going to be doing a video of me moving into my dorm at Guelph. Also, just a dorm tour showing you how my dorm looks and everything after it's done de being decorated. And maybe I'll even show you guys me decorating it. So that'll be interesting. And also some probably day in the life of a university student at the University of Guelph. So if you're interested in seeing any of that, then definitely subscribe and turn on my post notification bell so you don't miss it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.